My name is Ian Taylor Balls. I work for Shelbourne Reynolds and for the last 20 years we've been making hedge cutters. This model that I have here is a 457. It's a 400 series. It's the smallest models that we make. Um, it would be suitable for a tractor somewhere in the region of about sort of 75 through to about 110 horsepower. Um, it has joystick control in the cab and it has 50 horsepower pumps and motors. Here we see the motor on the end. The, the twin V-belt drive inside doesn't stick out out the side. It's nice and smooth and compact. Um, we do with this model have the ability to clamp onto the frame at the back, the box section frame, which allows you to move and slide the head across. These would be particularly helpful, this feature, when you're looking to put the header down on the inside between perhaps a fence, wooden fence, and the hedge that you're looking to cut. It has power slew, the ability to come around the side and back again with the hydraulic ram. fitted up onto the tractor it would have fitted on the front here a three-point stabiliser frame to make the machine quite rigid on the back of the smaller tractor. It also we call it a three-point stabiliser frame up here but the last part of the jigsaw would be to put a, uh, a turnbuckle coming from the underside of this machine across to the drawbar pin uh, on the clevis drawbar on the back of the tractor. That then makes it very very stable for when you slew round and put the machine out to work. Typically we would put T-flails on these. Uh, they would sell for, as I said, customers with smaller tractors and, um, and probably somewhere around about 100 to 150 acres of hedge cutting to do. Behind us here we have what we call the 656. Now slightly larger as you can see, bit, bit, bit beefier. Um, the 6 is again the 600 series and the 56 uh, coincides with the 5.6 meter reach. Now as you can also see this machine has been very well specced up. Um, it has as standard 70 horsepower pumps and motors. Uh, it also has been specced up with a debris blower. We manufacture that ourselves. Um, it's made from steel, so if you do reverse into a post with it, you can straighten it out again afterwards. You'll also notice that the front nose is raised and lowered by these rams. Um, they work off a spool valve in the tractor cab um, to raise and lower so that you can get quick access uh, to, if you're cutting grass, um, you would leave this down low. And if you were wanting to um, shave right up to a post, a wooden post, you could lift this up and get right the, the rotor right the way up close. Very well specced. Oil cooler as standard. As I said, 70 horsepower pumps and motors. And this umbilical cord here would come up into the cab and you would have a digital proportional joystick control system. So that's the 600 series. Now this model, is our bread and butter machine. We've sold more, built and sold more of this model, um, the 6 meter telescopic 760T, um, over the last 20 years than any other model. Um, it's served us very, very well. It pretty much comes compact, uh, complete um, with everything that you would need. You've got your oil cooling system in the top here. Um, we've got the 70 horsepower pumps and motors, as we said. You can see coming down here. We've got a heavy duty head. Um, typically we would be fixing, fitting the flails in there, either um, uh, drop forged T flails or cast C flails, competition type flails. Um, nice and compact, smoothed off at the idle end so you don't drag all the brambles along with you. Um, telescopic, heavy duty. At the moment with it tallied in, that's 4.8 metres reach. Uh, obviously with the telescopic, boomed fully out with just over six meters reach from the center of the machine to the last flail doing the cutting. You can see by the strength of the frame, very strong machine, 
these two rods they would stick out like so the yoke would go over the top sliding up and down and yet again we've got a bracket underneath the tank to come across and pick up on our drawbar pin once once the machine is on safely slewed round it wouldn't move very much at all 200 uh, litre tank of oil and um, very very strong uh, machine we've um, uh, sold many many of these um, all around the country but particularly in the southeast here we are at the top of the range HD 800 series model this model is an 865 six and a half meters worth of reach and the VFRT stands for variable forward reach and telescopic very desirable machine particularly for contractors um, 70 horsepower pumps and motors standard but we can offer 85 horsepower as well um, typically it has bigger diameter pins and bushes than any of our other range of machines it also has a bigger radiator as you will see easy access on a gas strut thus giving us the ability in the field to pull out and get rid of any dust and debris which has been sucked up through there with the coolant fan on the top very very popular very very strong and it is as I say our, our, the 800 series comes also as a seven and a half meter reach this one being the six and a half axle bracket mounted I must point out at this point this is a demonstration unit which has just come back from demonstration um, we've washed her off the best we could but um, axle bracket mounted for stability extra stability and a very strong machine the header comes forward over one and a half meters and ends up being level with the operator or in front of the operator I should say excellent visibility our standard heavy-duty head with our gain our twin Troiden tested twin v-belt drive and if you're lucky enough to have a, a front mounted PTO or front mounted lift then obviously what better place to put a, uh, a 2.8 meter side shift front and rear flail 